just have a nice, beautiful, happy, happy baby. Well, it is 8.40. What's today's date? 29th. 29th. I had a scheduled C-section, but my water just spoke. And we're on our way to the hospital. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. So I know you guys can see by the title, this is definitely different content for my channel, but one of my goals for the year is to be more open and transparent with you guys. So I thought it was only right to start the year off with my emergency C-section vlog. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you saw I really just announced my pregnancy to the public on Christmas. And little did I know a few days later, I'd be giving birth. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, I didn't have my actual camera until the day we were going home, but I hope you guys enjoy the footage that I did get and enjoy seeing um, my daughters meeting their baby brother for the first time. So I'm gonna stop talking now and let you guys watch and I will catch y'all in my next one. Oh, and happy new year. Okay, we just got to the hospital. Um, not sure if this is the right spot that we're supposed to be in. So, um, Jordan just went in to go see. I'm having some contractions. Um, so yeah, and then my water is still leaking. Just looking pretty oh, bad. They said this is it. it. Yes. Okay. Okay, y'all look so crazy, but I am in the room and I'm on a turn and him. Um, I'm just like really shaky right now, but my cervix I didn't follow, so I probably going to have to do a rushed emergency C-section. I'm just hooked up to the monitor. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated shortly. So right after this, you guys, it got real. Things went extremely fast. There was at least eight to 10 different people in my room. It was very chaotic. I had to get a COVID test. Thankfully that came back negative. I had to get an IV. They had to prep me for emergency C-section. They were telling me so much information at once. It was a lot going on. They also had to do an ultrasound to check the position of my baby. It was a lot going on. So after this, I was rushed to the operating room and I couldn't record anything in the beginning. Um, I did get a spinal. I didn't get an epidural. I got a spinal. And at that point, I was having contractions literally back to back. And it was so hard to bend my back to get the spinal. Um, we did get a little bit of the C-section. So if you do not like any like graphic content, do not watch this next part. I will leave timestamps so you can fast forward. Stunned for a minute because he came out by his feet. Okay. Hi, I know. Oh, girl, man. Hi. You had a toddler. He's huge. He's so small, baby. <laughs> Hi, big boy. What are you doing trying to come out in the world by your feet? Hi. So cool, baby. Was it a little stunning? I know. You're a full-on boy, big man. I know. He's so long. <laughs> He's huge, you guys. I'm so cute, baby. Hi. Oh, yeah. You said price is right? No way. Today is my birthday. Yeah. Hi, big guy. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh, there's so much hair. There's so much hair. Holy Moses, big man. I'm glad you didn't go to 40 weeks. My goodness, y'all. He's a big baby. Yes. Oh. Hi, mister. <gasps> Thank you guys so much. You're very welcome. Is he okay? He's not screaming much. Yeah, we're going to make him scream a little bit more. He's still trying to figure out what's going on. By the time we got to him, he almost had one foot out of your vagina. Yeah. He was coming guns blazing into this world. Taking any breaths? A couple, not like a Okay. Okay. I'm gonna just suck some glue out of his lungs, okay? Okay. Oh, I know. Can I show my love for you?
It is nine, a little bit after nine in the morning. Um, he got here at 10, 11 last night. And I'm just completely in love. He's sleeping right now. Um, I already got a um, walk at like six o'clock this morning. And they took my catheter out around the same time. Um, just checking my incision, I have an ice pack. So, yeah, I will definitely keep you guys updated. They're gonna come get him for testing in a little bit. And I need to eat some food because I'm really, really hungry. Um, I can move my legs and stuff now. Um, when I got up to walk at like six, my the feeling in my feet weren't all the way back, but I was still able to walk up and down the hallway once. Um, but the pain on my stomach is definitely getting worse than what it was last night. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Sleeping. Get his hair. He's been such a good baby. He's barely cried. Like he's just been so chill. And I'm so in love. Okay, so it's 11, and um, the pediatrician has just came to check on him. He was spitting up some amniotic fluid, so they just told me to um, hold him so he won't get choked because I cannot grab him by myself. And Jordan went to um, go home and check on the girls. They're with my mom, but... He just wants to go check on them and take a shower and, um, you know, bring me back some more stuff because we were literally unprepared last night. So, yeah. Yeah. And I think I told you guys I have to use the bathroom on my home at 12 30. So, I'm going to probably call the nurses so somebody can come help me soon. So, yeah, I'll pick up my phone in a little bit. Okay, y'all, I have not picked up my phone in forever, I know. Um, just a little update. So, yesterday we found out he has a little tongue tie. So, they're supposed to do the procedure today to fix that. He is lashing really good, but with his tongue tie, he can't stay on for long. Like, he can move the back of his tongue, but not the front really good so they're gonna fix that today um he got circumcised this morning today's the 31st by the way my pain levels i feel like i have increased um i have an ice pack on right now and i also have on a belly band uh, c-section recovery is definitely different from like vaginal birth completely different like I just I honestly feel like I've been hit by a bus um but I was able the last time I went to the bathroom I was able to go without help um, right now they just they're giving me Tylenol and Motrin for my pain and I don't want to take anything stronger than that honestly I don't like taking medicine to begin with and I definitely do not want to take anything else so I'm just like pushing through the pain and Yeah, I'm just pushing through the pain. Um, so yeah, it's New Year's Eve. We're going to be in here for New Year's, which I'm sad we're not going to be with the girls uh, for New Year's. But I just, I don't really feel up to going home today. So I'm not going to force myself to. He said he'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, 
Okay guys, so here is his car seat. I decided on the Nuna Pippa. This is the regular um, Nuna, not the light. We'll be home Happy. soon. Oh, he said, Happy New Year, sister. Look at her face. Oh, squeeze. Okay. 